Monday nights are about to get hot. As we go into the archives of Brie Combination Wrestling and we present the gift to the BCW faithful. As we bring you each and every main event from Recombination Wrestling. You ever feel like you missed the main event? Well, worry no more. As we go into our archives and we bring you every main event. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Monday night's main event. Right here on Brie Combination Wrestling. This is our monster match, and it is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing first. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not aware, our monster match is a yearly tournament. Last year's won by Billy Brash will be in action later tonight. A four way, no disqualification, anything goes matchup between four of the biggest monsters we can find. Last month, TJ Marconi advanced to move on to the King of the Monsters match, which will be held in December of this year, our final show. Tonight, honestly, I think may be our most stacked monster match to date. I can't argue that at all because Look at the first contestant here tonight. The Meadowlands monster, over seven feet tall. The next opponent. Mind you, this is a tournament that has seen the likes of Montana Black, Billy Brash, yeah. Dan Moff. Matt Tremont, Jimmy mom. Lloyd. Voila. I mean, a who Jack Rex Lawless has been in a monster match Jeff before. Jeff Hannonball. I didn't like the way he mistreated me that one monster match. And now we get TJ Boss. This man, the tag team partner of a man who made the finals last year. This man, TJ Boss, the tag team partner of Montana Black, one part of the syndicate. Uh-oh, he stole that guy's lips. Oh, that's a shame. Good thing he has more. <laughs> this guy is huge. And to think he's in a tag team with Montana Black. Let's just go over what TJ Boss has accomplished in that tag team. APW Tag Team Champions, PWX Tag Team Champion, Best Wrestling Tag Team next. Champion, and a multiple time heavyweight champion in the Carolinas and Southeast. TJ Boss is a one man wrecking crew. That's the Carolinas, Pete. This is New York City. This is BCW. This is the monster match. Well, you, you're forgetting. A man from the Carolinas won the monster match the whole damn tournament last year. You had two men from the Southeast in the finals last year, one of them being TJ Boss's tag team partner. So trust me. Oh, boy. Ah, who the... I know who that is. And I'm officially scared. Ladies and gentlemen, that, that is Joshua Cutshaw, a man of many different personalities. You never know which will manifest, but uh, Remember what I mentioned about the guy who broke out from prison? Yeah. He has a cage on his head. What is wrong with him? You know, you know what the scariest part about him is? That he is a monster. Oh my god, he's hitting himself with the rope! No, no, no. Oh my god. Do you know who his tag team partner is? And tonight's final opponent. I don't know, but you're gonna tell me. Billy
Understatement. These guys just keep getting bigger and bigger. Last month, you had Marconi, Quelling, Lloyd. Introducing first, not over seven feet tall of pure unmitigated destruction in the is the metal lens my monster. left he now, is fighting he out of clinton south carolina he weighed in this evening at right now i have my money pounds. on two men in this match the big man on campus t j boss my god this guy is big in the corner to my right. Which one are you talking about? He is from the <laughs> asylum. <laughs> Good weighing one, in at Good 230 one. pounds. He is accompanied to the ring by Ross Vegas. He's talking to it. I think it's a fairy. I don't and know Cyclone Cutshaw. The guys are the crazy ones. The real the crazy ones. Joshua oh, Cutshaw. Although I wouldn't say he's short either. Nope. So he's crazy. Easily close Great. to seven and feet, finally, Joshua Cutshaw. Over seven feet tall, left, the Meadowlands monster. Over 300 pounds, TJ Boss. But this man may have the advantage here tonight. He was the second ever BCW World Heavyweight Champion, pro wrestling maniac, Joe. Gacy! And let's not forget, as I said earlier, former CZW World Champion, former Evolve Tag Team Champion, and the only man in this ring to have formerly competed in a monster match. Joe Gacy knows what it's like to be in this match, in this ring. Oh! Ho, ho. Bleep. Remember the bleeper? Yeah. We, we need the bleeper. No, no bleeps here. <laughs> How are, how are we going to control them? How could one ring control these guys? I don't know how one I mean, referee can control them. An or something. We we may. Oh boy, the it's bell's started. rung. Right now, Catchell seems to be still involved with his cage right now, so we only need to worry about the three. It seems. I think he's going to have a match between him and his cage. Oh, he he realized there's bigger fish to fry outside. I think when I rang that bell, it might have triggered him. It triggered something different. I, I'm getting goosebumps just looking at this guy. They all seem what a little it? unsure. Is he dancing? You said that it's the crazy ones you gotta stay away from. He's the craziest one out of the bunch. Cutshaw just going right at. Whoa! We, we almost hit the ref. He thought the ref was in the match. Woo. Bruno might want. Zach Snow might want to get out of there. Bruno might want to get out of there, everybody. He'll cut you all up and over. Joe Gacy ready to toss him out. Back in the hard way. Big leg drop by Bruno there. I was just about to say this is going to be the first time I see the monsters working with each other. And then uh, TJ Boss can't put an end to it. Boss took the Metal Lands monster <laughs> down to size. And Gacy going right after Boss. Oh, the quickness of Gacy. Oh, Boss caught him. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a no disqualification match. And oh, huge back elbow by TJ Boss. And now Boss has the crazy guy. The real Joshua Cutshaw. Went for the bionic elbow there. Didn't even seem to face TJ Boss. Oh! Cutshaw inside out! 
Boss used that second rope to springboard himself right into the face of Kutshaw. Um, but then he got caught by the Meadowlands monster and pulled right out. The over seven feet, so let's not forget the fact that the Meadowlands monster is over seven feet tall in this matchup. It looked like Gacy for a moment was going to try and work with the Metal Lens Monster against Boss, and then he got a punch right to the face for his efforts. As you see, all these men fighting on the outside. This is a no disqualification matchup. Anything, Anything go. goes. These men could fight outside the building. These men could fight in another state. As long as no one gets a pinfall or submission, this match will not end. They don't want to go to another state. Tolls oh. are very expensive. Oh, this is true. This is a very dangerous environment. Cutshaw just ate a chair. Oh, boy. Oh, TJ Boss has got a chair. Chairs everywhere. Ooh. Right to Gacy's elbow. And Gacy oh, hightailing right. it. You're right, Joe. Oh, whoa, 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 no, no, he's got the ring bell. I mean, it's no disqualification, Come on, guys. so we need it back eventually. No, no, no. But no. he has every right to use oh, it. Oh, no. Okay, well, I can, um... Uh, th thank oh. you. I'm gonna get fired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Gacy that. make that call. He just uh, rung his bell, as he said. I mean, I can't really understand that, but... That hurts. Oh, okay. It's like a total system reset. Oh, okay. Yeah. Boss and the Meadowlands monster in the ring now. And now the Meadowlands monster back to the outside. And Boss and Cutshaw are back in the ring together. And now he's alone. Now Cutshaw's by himself. I think that's a place he likes to be a lot. Well, he's got his cage in there still, so he's good. He's is he talking yes. to the cage? I'm telling yes, you there's is. a fairy yes, in there. Is. I am not kidding. Fairy. Oh, someone caught him. The fairy caught him. What's going on? Who's the he talking fairy. to? There's a fairy. There's something going on with him. It's not right. Who is Cutshaw talking to? Did you know that if you clap, fairies get more power? So maybe if we clap for him? That's a fact. Yeah. Oh, Cutshaw finally diving to the outside. Joe Casey. Casey doesn't know what's going on here. Too. Is he ready to fly? Gacy just saw a man talk to himself in the middle of a wrestling ring. I'm telling you, it was a fairy, but Gacy no, doesn't no. care. He doesn't see it because he doesn't believe. Gacy, this is a big man. Gacy believes do? it's something. He I'm bent over. He fly. Wow. That's what he believes, and he did. Gacy, back up. He's okay. I don't know what's going on, but Gacy's having a jolly good time. Well, he threw Catshaw back in, but Meadowlands Wait. has his foot. And Gacy took care of his hand there. <laughs> oh, Catshaw using some mind games, which he had I a think moment he made, of lucidity there. Which I think he may be well versed in some mind games. Uh. I gotta tell you guys, this match has to be the most important for Joe Gacy. You mentioned earlier he was a former champion, former world champion here at BCW. And then where has he been? He hasn't been in contention. Cover here! JC, one, two! Oh, oh a kick out! And one thing we haven't talked about, if you are king of the monsters, you get that guaranteed shot at is, the is, title. Is that a door? No. There's a where did he find that? I thought we cleaned under the ring today. TJ Boss got a door. You didn't do a very good job of cleaning under it. I am so getting fired. First, Joe Gacy takes the bell for me, you and now I didn't it. clean under the ring. There is a door in the ring, ladies and gentlemen, but I want to touch on what you said, Abel. You're correct. The winner, the king of the monsters, does gain a BCW world title shot. I went for a cutter, but the monster held on to the ropes. Well scouted, well scouted. Those long limbs definitely help for leverage. Choke slam! And Gacy is out. Melon's monster, the only man standing right now. The rest of the monsters are down. Now going after TJ Boss. 
But again, the winner of the King of the Monsters match, the man who survives not only his qualifier, but the finals, does get a shot at the BCW World Championship, as Billy Brash will get later this year. Oh! Huge belly to belly on the seven footer! If anyone's gonna pick up a seven footer, it's gonna be the wow. boss. With ease, right? Wait a minute. With ease. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no. What is he uh, thinking? No, he can't be. Whenever anyone gives that look to a top turnbuckle, no! I get nervous. Where is he going? Wait, Joe Gacy's outside. No one's monsters inside. Where is he going? I mean, up. What is he doing? Oh, God, gravity. Oh! Got the best of. TJ Boss went for a moonsault and landed on the dark side because he missed. The seven footer back to a shaky base. Oh! Spine buster by the Meadowlands monster on a TJ Boss. Oh, the crazy kid is back. Oh my gosh. Cutshaw bicycle kick. Heavy forearm from the corner. And Europe, another one. You're going to stop this cut. Maybe it's fairy, I don't know. Gacy's <laughs> trying to set a door up in the corner, and Kesho's running across the ring so vehemently that he couldn't. And he gave up. And now they're brawling. Gacy and Cutshaw trading punches. TJ Boss on the outside. Meadowlands Monster trying to figure out where he is. That door is still up there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gacy almost went through it. Is Casey, is Casey gonna get power bombed here by Cutshaw? Duck the clothesline. This could be the end for Casey. Are and they Cutshaw. both getting choke slammed through it? No. Went for a double choke slam. It looks like the monster went for. Whoa! Oh my oh! God! My God! The Meadowlands monster just broke the door in half. Wow! Uh for a tall man to go up that high, I would never have thought, it. if I didn't see it with my own eyes, I never would have thought it happened. Gacy and Cutshaw double back body drop to the Meadowlands monster through that door. Gacy with a springboard cutter. Gacy springboard cutter, could this be it? Could Gacy get it? Come on. TJ Buzz coming out of it. <laughs> the winner of the match, and advancing to the King of the Joe Monsters finals in December. He's qualified for the King of the Monsters Joe match to move on to the other three huge monsters. Joe Gacy, that springboard cutter, covers Cutshaw with a one, two, three, and does, as Riley said, advance to the BCW King of the Monsters finals. Right now, half the field has been decided. TJ Marconi and now Joe Gacy. Who will be the next two monsters to qualify for that matchup? Well, me and he's telling you right now, it's, it's him. Joe Casey may go all the way. We have seen some epic monster matches here in BCW. This, ladies and gentlemen, may just be one of the best we've seen. Definitely it's one of the ones with the biggest men. The amount of mass that was, of human mass that was in this ring tonight. Starting off with the tag team, and now the monster match. What's gonna be left? Gacy, Boss, well, the, the Meadowlands door. Monster, Joshua Cutshaw. Another hand for Joe Gacy. That King was incredible. Of the All four men finalists. legitimately had moments where you thought they could have won the matchup. I think Joe Gacy is taking half the door, or what's left of it, as a souvenir. Wasn't that a wonderful episode of Monday Night's Main Event? Presented by Breed Combination Wrestling? 
Well, BCW Faithful, I need you to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about Monday night's main event. And please, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share, share, share this video.